Let's take some small variation in the square root method. Okay. Solve equation 2x square plus 6x minus 20 is equal to 0 using square method of finding roots. Right? So my equation in this case is 2x square plus 6x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now the first thing that I told you was that this value the coefficient of x square should be a perfect square but 2 is not a perfect square. So I just modify this a little bit so I multiply both the sides by 2. Multiplying both sides by 2. So I get 4x square plus 12x minus 40 is equal to 0 into 2. Well, this again remains 0. So I got an equation where the coefficient of x is a perfect square. After this, the method remains the same. So how do you solve this? Well, 4x square plus split this into two equal parts. 6x plus 6x minus 40 is equal to 0. We take the common between the first two elements, which is 2x. So you get 2x plus 3 here. Plus, now you already have 2x here. To make it 2x plus 3, the common item here has to be 3. And you have to somehow make the bracket as 2x plus 3. Now 3 into 2x is actually equal to 6x. But 3 into 3 is not equal to 40. 3 into 3 is equal to 9. So keeping this working aside, let's say, let's call it as equation 1. We rewrite 1 as under. 2x, 2x plus 3 plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 minus 40 is equal to 0. 2x, 2x plus 3 remains the same plus amongst these two we take 3 common so 2x plus 3 minus 49 is equal to 0. Take this 49 to the other side so this 0 goes off this 49 goes off and this becomes 49. This side you can write as 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3 or 2x plus 3 whole square is equal to 49 okay which implies that 2x plus 3 is equal to plus minus 7 why because the square root of 49 is plus minus 7 so 2x plus 3 is equal to 7, 2x is equal to 4, 7 minus 3, so x is equal to 2. And when 2x plus 3 is equal to minus 7, then 2x is equal to minus 7 minus 3, 2x is equal to minus 10, x is equal to minus 10 divided by 2. So we've got two values of x. The only different catch here was that because the x square was not a perfect square, you multiplied the entire equation, both sides of the equation by 2. This is the first step. If you fail here, then you can keep guessing. This square will never come in. And the reason again is that you have to convert this equation into the form a plus b whole square, which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. 
So the first coefficient which is there for the x square has to be a perfect square. And if it is not, you have to first make it.